In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we begin our journey into great and holy Lent on this clean Monday, we try to rid ourselves of every judgment, anger, and animosity we might have with our brothers and sisters. It was for this reason that many of the churches throughout our metropolis held forgiveness vespers last night as the churches around the world transitioned from the gold and the glory of Sunday into the purple, black, and somberness of Great Lent. I have said before, and I will say again, the pr prayer service of the Mega Bodhigno, the Great Compline, is perhaps my favorite service during Great Lent. Through this service, you heard three elements that I would like to focus on. The first is the hymn, Oti Methimon O Theos, For God is with us. And during this antiphonal chant, we hear about how during all the times of tribulation and sadness and fear, we always remember that God is with us. Today, March 15th, is one year to the day when I had to contact my parishioners to tell them that we would not have church. This Sunday would have been the Sunday of St. Gregory Palamas in 2020. And unfortunately, in order to protect the faithful, we closed our churches. And I remember saying then, and I say it now, that during times of pandemic, during times of fear and death, it is important to remember that God is with us. But perhaps even more than that is to remember that, yes, God is with us during times of tribulation, but if we look to the latter half of the hymn, we see jubilant joy as we are told about our Savior, our wonderful Counselor, our King. And then, too, God is with us. Joy is with us. So in good times and in bad times, God is with us, and we can take comfort in that. The second element is the prayer of Manasseh, who was a prodigal king of the Israelites and due to his negligence brought the Israelites into the Babylonian captivity. And it was in a jail cell waiting his torments that Manasseh wrote this prayer of repentance, acknowledging that the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob saw those holy fathers, those faithful fathers, as righteous, and that those people did not need repentance, but he did. And even in the depths of his jail cell, he recognized that with God, he can be redeemed. He can be lifted up. And so, as we look to this prayer, we look to ourselves and understand that even when we have messed up, even when we have fallen, even in the depths of our despair, in the prison of our hearts and our circumstances, God can lift us out. And within the prayer of Manasseh, we see the segue into the third, Lord of the powers, perhaps the most beautiful hymn of great Lent, in which we hear how our God, the Lord of the heavenly powers, the hosts of angels, is with us, and how in times of distress we have no one else but him, and he will have mercy on us. He will send his angels to strengthen us, 
to save us against the dark consciences of evil demons that seek to destroy us during this time as we ready ourselves and prepare ourselves for Pascha. It is not a coincidence that our tempers rise during Great Lent. It is not a coincidence that we face more temptation than normal during Great Lent because our adversary wishes to despoil our journey and our Pascha. And so therefore, we make the mistake sometimes of thinking that through our own willpower, we can get through Great Lent. We can't. We need help. We need the help of the Lord of the power. We need his army of angels who surround us, who strengthen us, who fortify us, who will not abandon us, to walk with us, to fend off the enemy as we walk towards and with our Savior. So therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, as we begin our journey into great Lent, and I am so pleased that we have done it together on this great comp line. Let us strengthen each other, knowing that God is with us, that our repentance has meaning, and that the angels of our Lord go with us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.